Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the sand simulation to apply sand on your terrain, which is pretty simple and easy. Okay, so um, here we have the uh, simulation layers, and actually this is what you have to open here, and there's a plus icon here. So if you, if, if you press the plus icon, you can select um, between fluid, snow, sand, and debris simulation. So we're going to add a sand simulation now by simply applying it here. And you can see immediately that, okay, the terrain has changed and there seems to be something on it and it looks like sand. Um, so the simulations have here their settings. Um, you can click here on show mask, which means everywhere, uh, I mean, all these red parts are now, meaning that sand is coming down from top um, on the terrain and is then using physics to simulate and to um, yeah to distribute on the terrain. So we easily can make this a little bit like we don't want to have it um, have it everywhere on the terrain. So we click here on edit, uh, click here on clear. So we're removing the sand now. I'm going to move in a little bit and increase my brush. And now I'm just going to paint where I want to have sand actually. So where I want to world creator to simulate the sand. Let me quickly disable the mask here. So you can now use the iterations here to see how the sand distributes on a terrain. If I set these iterations to zero, um, this would mean like this is where the sand is going to start and it's going downwards. Okay. Um, the more iterations, the more um, the sand has, um, yeah, um, has the possibility to, um, to move on the terrain and distribute it. Um, so the next we want to do is making this sand a little bit more colorful. So what we could do is a, um, creating a material. Let's take a simple color here and give this a, uh, yeah, more a sandy color like this, and then just drag and drop the sand, um, here on the color. What creator is going to, um, set up the distribution pipeline for you immediately. And then you can see how the sand distributes on the terrain. Okay, so we can check again here with the, uh, with the iterations. Okay, this is where I'm dropping sand on my terrain. This is equal to the mask that I see here. And then I go and, yeah, let work creator do its magic. So we have a few more settings here. The first one, um, which is more important, is the spawn amount. So how much sand would you like to spawn on the terrain? Um, this is, as you can see, it's not that much. You can increase it to a much higher number. So it's really a lot of sand coming down from the top. Of course, it covers more of the terrain, the more I add. Um, the next one is the spawn level, which I um, would suggest to leave it um, at the level where it is right now. It actually means at uh, which level, at which um, resolution the, the sand should uh, spawn on the terrain. The, uh, the less the resolution, um, you get a different distribution because you have as mentioned, one of the uh, filter videos uh, where I explained the level steps, it's a different um, way of, um, yeah, of how the um, how the how the um, calculation is performing. So, um, for um, I would say 99% um, of projects, um, level six is just perfect. Okay, then you have this erosion angle and here the slope angle. Um, those can be used to. Um, better, um, yeah, to, um, to better decide how the um, sand should should um, flow down and uh, distribute on the terrain. You can see they're pretty much doing almost the same. Um, internally, there's a little bit more. If you watch these these lines here, for example, um, you get you get them better filled up with the erosion. So so um, I would say. Um, use them and try which fits best, um, best to your needs. Okay, so actually you can also add multiple levels of sand. So you could add just another sand layer here on top. Um, again, give this a different color. Let's say we're gonna take some red sand just, just because it might be looking interesting. And then we have a different uh, distribution of it. So. Let's clear this one out. We're adding some red sand over here. As you can see they are summing up and of course they're also mixing um, in between with each other. So you have many options 
to um, yeah to layer the sand. So some sand might have a different um, a flow of how how it goes down on the terrain. And um, yeah, WordPress uh, do a pretty nice simulation. Also, which is important to notice is that um, the sand will go outside of the masking. So the masking just tells Word Creator where the sand should come down, but it's not, uh, but it's not going to limit um, the area in which sand is applied, okay? Even if you have this area here outside, it won't limit um, actually if the sand would, would be like it's moving outside of that area at all. So just be aware of that. Um, the sand will flow down as much as it can without being limited by the area or by the mask itself. Okay, that's it with sand. Um, hope you enjoyed and make sure to check the other ones too. Bye-bye.